some people are more myth or legend than human and have such. <laughs> his worship leader, Scott Cunningham. Scott's here with his beautiful daughter, Madison, who is also practically supermodel status. Um, oh my God. Scott, you've been with the festival for nine of our 10 festivals mm. and you've seen it absolutely transform from one night uh, outreach only to the local community and to a massive festival. Can you just give us some thoughts on Creation Fest over the last nine years? Yeah, yeah, it's been cool. Um, I think to see it, it the Creation, Creation Fest, the vision of it to kind of become what it is right now. I think it's become, it started, it started just real simple and small. It's like a grassroots thing, and then something the Lord's built over the years. And the things that I love about Creation Fest is the fact that it's it's edifying to the church. The church is edified through the, the, the worship times, the teaching of the word, the fellowship. Yeah. And then you have an evangelism element too, where the gospel's going out, people are getting saved, giving the life of the Lord. Yeah. So it's this mix of like um, edification, evangelism, fellowship. It's just been super, super neat and a lot of fun. Skate park, stuff for kids. It's just been uh, really, really neat to see that all come together. Yeah, one of the things that's been really fun this year is having your beautiful daughter with you. Yes. Um, Maddie. Is it your first year on the main stage of Creation Fest, or have you been on the main stage of the year? Um, last year I did it just a little bit, but this year has been more consistent. You've actually been leading some of the songs this year. Tell us about any one of the songs that you've written. Um, Healed by Grace, uh, just finished a couple months ago. Um, it's been so fun just to, to share these songs, and uh, yeah, just to see how the Lord's going to use it. It's been really exciting. Absolutely. How's it for you as a dad to see your daughter leading thousands in worship through some of the children. What, what does that bring out in your heart? Um, a lot of emotions, a lot of thankfulness to the Lord for grace that he gives to us to get that sort of love with their family is such a, such a special thing to me. Yeah. And um, having excitement is just, I think it's about handing, handing it off to the next generation, encouraging them to use their gifts for the Lord. And uh, as a parent, I feel like there's no greater joy, you know, than to be able to serve the Lord with them and see them follow the Lord. And, so, so fun. It's a treat. It yeah. is. Yeah. Now, speaking of the next generation, we're standing right up in front of the skate park, and there's loads of teens that come in and yeah. from local communities and really all over. Um, Madison, how do you see this affecting the young people of Creation Fest? Like in, in music or just... In just any portion. It could either be through the music or people that you've met during the days or just the way you've been able to make relationships with people. What do you see Creation Fest doing for those who are young? Um, I see like a lot of friendships being built and just like I think what's so cool about this creation fest is that they get to see the joy that we have, you know, maybe that they don't have here just um, just living in such darkness and it's just I think it's just a pleasure and for me personally to come here just to get to share that joy with these kids and um, just the people all around them, even just through music or through talking to them and just how good God has been and how good he will be to them. And I know it's such a powerful testimony for them to see a young woman who is beautiful and vibrant and just has given her heart and her life to Christ. So I you know you've been a wonderful testimony of that. Um, Scott, just any kind of parting words, as, even as we look forward to next year with Creation Fest, um, of what you're hoping that God will continue to do through the festival? Yeah, we're just hoping that the word gets out to, to the body of Christ in England as a whole, every denomination that would want to come out and be. Uh, encouraged by the teaching of the word yeah. and uh, edified by all that, and then bringing non-believers with them to say, "This is a chance for you to bring, uh, you know, unsaved friends that have maybe never heard the gospel before, or maybe haven't been open to it, but seeing that Jesus is both relevant, real, and uh, it loves them." And in, in this setting where they, there's so much fun and there's so much joy, and they get a chance to see that being a Christian is all about, you know, it's about being real and walking with the Lord and yeah. kind of having a changed life and a uh, new perspective. So. I think it's a good it's a good model for people to come see. And, hey, this is what it means to be a Christian. Yeah. And it's a great opportunity for um, for believers to bring their unsafe friends. So I, I hope in the years to come that the word gets out that that's the case. It's free. It's fun. It's about Jesus, yeah. and the gospel goes out. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's been really a pleasure to be with both of you guys. Um, we were joking just before we started this film, it took Scott about half an hour to get a few yards on campus just because he's so well loved Not true. here at the festival. <laughs> Besides being an incredibly good looking family, as you can see, they're also uh, just wonderful servants of the Lord. So Scott Madison, thanks for being here with us and we'll see you at Creation Fest 2012.